I'll start. Hello, my name is Nate Kyle, Program Director here at the Alaska Center for the Blind, also Associate Director of Instructional Services for Your Tech Vision. Today I'm going to go over an alternative method on downloading images from the internet and saving them. So let's go ahead and strap in and take you on a little journey. I'm going to get to a Word document. I have that in the second position of my taskbar, so I'm going to press Windows 2 to open up a Word document. Windows 2, taskbar, opening dash, opening dash, Word. List box, Word, new list box, blank document. One. Blank document, yes, enter. Document 1. And so here I have document 1. I could go into the ribbon by pressing the Alt key and tab around to look for insert and picture, but I know the keystrokes are going to be Alt N for insert, P is in picture, followed by the letter O. So I'm going to press that Alt N. Alt N, upper ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. P. P. Illustrations toolbar. The letter O. O. Leaving menus, upper ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Caps lock off. Type a query and then press enter to search for images. Okay, so yes, I want to type. Type a query and then press enter to search for images. Um, what I want to look for here is going to be Black Lab, but I will tell you sometimes when you, you press Alt N P O you may not be directly on this search edit box so you may have to tab or shift tab around. And I'm just going to tab a couple times and shift tab back so you can see what else you might find in case it doesn't drop you directly onto that search box. Menu, categories, menu, airplane, 1 of 52. So you might find a bunch of like clip art. And so, but I'm going to shift tab. Leaving menus, type a query and then press enter to search for image results on Bing. Press tab to begin browsing images. Search edit, type in text. And so it says search edit and it tells me it's going to use the Bing browser, which is fine. So I'm going to type in black lab. B L A C K black L A B. And I'm going to press enter. Lab. Results list view not selected jingle the black labrador vertical bar jingle vertical bar michael with dash jones vertical bar flick one of 30. And so it says one of 30 and it told me this image who the picture um, was taken by the photo was taken by and it says one of 30. You would think if you were down there it would take you to the second picture but it doesn't. I'm going to show you I'm going to down arrow one time. Not selected sad yellow lab vertical bar my sad sleepy yellow lab vertical bar randy duro vertical bar flick seven of 30. And it took, takes you to the seventh photo. If I wanted to get to these um, in a consecutive order, I'm going to right arrow, but first let me arrow back up to one. Not selected jingle the black Labrador vertical bar, jingle vertical bar, Michael Wither, dash Jones vertical bar, flicker, one of 30. So that's one. I'm going to arrow right into, as I go past each picture, arrowing right, we have this. More actions button. More actions. So I'm going to arrow right and I'll be on the second photo. Not selected yellow Labrador retriever free image vertical bar, peaks, two of 30. And that's on two of 30. And if I arrow right, you're going to hear more actions. More actions button. And so on. I'm going to arrow right one more time to the third photo in these uh, this line of pictures. Not selected file colon black labrador pub jpg dash wikimedia commons three of thirty. And typically, when you do a search for images by word, like in this case or description, I used black lab. The first two, three, or four pictures are really close, accurate to what you're searching for fundamentally. Um, so I know that if I'm in this first three or four and I select any of these, even if I cannot see it, it's going to be a black lab. Um, so I'm, I'm on this right now to select it, to highlight it. I'm going to press space bar. Space, file, colon, black, labrador, pup, dot, jpg, dash, wicked. And then I'm going to tab one time. Insert left parent, one right parent, button to act. And it says insert one, because I've only selected one. I'm going to press enter. Document one. Group object graphic, group object, picture one. This photo by a known author is licensed under CC by SA. This photo HTTPS colon slash slash commons dot wikimedia dot org slash wiki slash file colon black underline labrador underline pub dot jpg. CC by SA HTTP. Okay. Table in, in line with text button selected. Uh, Document one, in line with text button. It's here, and it, it just for whatever reason it pulled up some little in line with text. And I just want to make sure I escape out of that. So I'm just in the document on the image. I'm going to press escape one time. Escape. Document one. Group object graphic. Group object picture one. This photo by a known author is licensed. And this says group object picture one. I'm not going to arrow up or down because I want my cursor on this picture. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the application key. For some of you, that's going to be Shift F10. If you don't have a ded dedicated application key, um, or it's going to be on some keyboards, your function with your right control key. That's what mine is. So you're going to hear me press it and say application. Applications, menu, cut to move through items, press up or down arrow key. And I'm going to down arrow. Copy C. Leaving menus, paste options. Bring the front split button unavailable. And I'm listening for save picture. Send the back split button unavailable. Menu, link sub menu, create a save as picture dot 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 s. Right there, save as picture, and it said s. I could have just pressed s also once I was in the application menu. And now I'm going to press enter to save as. Leaving menus. 
Document 1, Alt plus N, picture 1.png, save as picture dialog, file name colon edit combo, picture 1.png, to set the value, use the arrow keys. And there it says save as, and it's calling it picture 1. And I would say uh, something to do that's very helpful is to name it yourself, or it's just going to, you're going to have a bunch of JPG randomly generated uh, photo tiles, so uh, photo, ti photo titles. So I'm going to call this Black Lab. B -L -A -C -K -Black. L -A -B. And I'm going to tab one time because I want to make sure that it's actually saving as a JPEG and not as a Word document. Lab. Save as type colon combo box. Portable network graphics left parent star dot PNG right parent one of six. And it is. It's a PNG, which is a picture image. So I'm, I know um, if I wanted to be sure where this is going to save, I can press Alt D. Alt D. Address edit combo pictures to set the value. And yep, it recognizes it as a picture and it's going to save into my picture folder. I'm going to Alt S. Alt S. Microsoft Word document. Document 1 dash word. Group object graphic. Group object. Picture 1. This title is document 1 dash word. Print view. And it is saving. Picture 1 graphic. Group object. Picture 1. This photo by unknown author is licensed. Title is document 1 dash word. Print view. Well, that's Group object graphic. Group object. Sure picture 1. Did. Group object. Picture 1. This photo. And if I, if I wasn't sure, it did save as Black Lab, but it saved as a photo. And so this document is still just a Word document. But if I wanted to check if it saved as a photo, I would go to where my pictures are. So I'm going to go to my uh, File Explorer with Windows E. Windows E. File Explorer. Items view list box. To move to I'm going to hit P for picture. P pictures. 430. Enter. Enter. Items view list box. To move to an item press. And I call it Black Lab. I'm going to hit the letter B. B. Black Lab dot PNG. 6 of 10. Black Lab dot PNG. And it's right Enter. there. So this is one way to search, download, and save images. And it's a way that I have found to be very consistent. Hopefully that helped you. And if you are interested in more tutorials like this, you can YouTube our Your Tech Vision channel on YouTube. That's Your Tech Vision. Pictures, document one dash word, meeting controls. Have a great day.